What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. So today we are about to get into this Mwanzi Entertainment video. This one is True Horror Sleep Paralysis Story. So without further ado, y'all, let's hop straight into this video. I've never experienced it and I never wish to. My name is Drian. Sleep paralysis happened to me very often until I turned 22. The first oh. occurrence was when I was 12. It was summer break time, so we were having a sleepover at my aunt's house for a week. All my other cousins around my age were also there, so I was really excited during that time. One night, all of my cousins and the adults in the house were asleep. I was the only one still awake, playing games on my cousin's laptop. I was not scared at all staying up that late, because my other young cousins were in the same room as me. After I finished playing games, I went to bed around 2 or 3 a.m. I passed out quickly. Then, I woke up by something that I didn't know, and I couldn't move my body. I could only see my surrounding area and my other cousins asleep. I panicked and struggled to move. Oh, that's so weird. Finally, I was able to wake myself up, so I got up and immediately ran to my aunt's room. It was the first time I had experienced that kind of situation, so I was crying a lot. She comforted me and let me stay with her until morning. Oh my god, that's so that weird! Morning, I did some research on what it was and realized that it was sleep paralysis. Well, they said it happened to many people, so I just thought it was a normal occurrence. Weeks... Months and years passed. It still happened to me. But I was not scared of it anymore because I got used to it. I already knew what to do when it happened to me. A few years mm. later, my parents left the house to work overseas. So it was just me, my younger brother, and my older male cousin in our house. One afternoon, it was our grandmother's birthday. I was You're tired right? of playing computer game tournaments online all night and needed some sleep. So I decided that I wouldn't go with them. I told them that I would catch up with them in the evening. I went to bed, and again, sleep paralysis occurred. It really pissed me off, because I needed some rest so I could go to the birthday party and not look tired. Yeah. I couldn't move my body but could still see the surrounding area. Oh my god. But then... Something was different. There she was. I saw the silhouette of a woman. She was wearing a black dress. I couldn't tell if she was wearing a veil or it was just her long hair that almost covered her face. And furthermore, I couldn't completely see her face because it was all blurry. I was so, so scared. What was going on here? She was just standing by the door looking at me as I struggled to wake myself up. She looked like she was smiling and all of a sudden she jumped towards me and grabbed me. She was trying to get inside my body. I resisted huh? and struggled but couldn't scream at all. After some struggling, I was able to push her back and woke myself up. I screamed and was really scared so I left the house and went to the birthday party. All my cousins asked me what happened, and I explained it to them. They gave me some advice to just pray before I go to bed. Oh my god. So I took their advice and prayed, <laughs> but it didn't work at all. I hate that so much. It Don't brush really my shit off like that. It was because it was the first time pray. that I saw someone or something. Two years later, me and my brother moved to Italy with my parents, and we shared the same room. And one night... I went to sleep, but my brother was still awake, playing computer games. Again, I saw the same dark figure of a woman from back in our old house. She was at my feet, oh. grabbing my legs, trying to pull me down. I tried to struggle and really wanted to scream for help to my brother, but I couldn't do it. I could see my brother looking at me with a confused face. He thought that maybe I was just dreaming and talking in my sleep. The idiot even laughed at me. I was just trying to resist and not get pulled by the dark-figured woman, and after some struggling, I oh was able to wake myself up. 
But this time, I still saw the dark-figured woman, but my brother couldn't. I pointed my finger at it, but my brother still didn't see anything. He just said there was nobody there. And seconds or minutes later, it slowly faded. I told my mother about it, and she didn't really believe me and even told me that it was because I didn't go to church and pray. Another night, sleep paralysis occurred again, and I saw this woman again. She was really close to me, but I still couldn't see her face. It was all black and blurry. And this time, she literally talked to me. She whispered into my ear, I will give you anything you want. Money, fame, glory. All you need to do is let me in. What? I told her, no, please leave me alone, and woke myself up again. That was the last time I saw her. That was in 2017, and now it's 2019. I'm 22 now. I'm not scared of sleep paralysis, but the only thing is... I'm just scared of that dark-figured woman. So with sleep paralysis, like, are your eyes closed or are they open? Because I always thought that your eyes were open from the video, the other, because I've watched other sleep paralysis videos and from the way they described it or from like the way they talked about it, I thought your eyes were like open. You just couldn't move and like, you saw stuff, but in this video, her eyes were closed. So will she drink? I don't know. Sleep paralysis is weird as hell, dog. And I just cannot imagine that feeling of just feeling paralyzed, like you can't move and like you can see everything, but you can't move. Like that's weird as hell to me. Like, so are you having a dream about your room and this figure is there? I don't know. That shit's crazy. That is just, oh my God, I cannot. But yeah, y'all. That was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in my next reaction video.